Hi, I'm Lorene McGinnis Schultz of OliveTreeGenealogy.com, and this is tutorial two on creating a memory photo book in Shutterfly. Now we left off um, at video one. Um, we had our pictures in the picture tray. We had chosen our style of book, eight by eleven soft cover, and we had chosen a theme, which remember you can change at any point during the creation of your book. So what I like to do is I like to go right into page two. And I skip the outside cover and I skip the title page. I like to upload all my pictures first. I organize them the way I want them organized, whether that's chronologically or by person, however I want to do it. When I say pictures, I also mean documents. After I've done all that, then I like to go in and add the text. I do that because I found that often I upload my pictures and then I change my mind and I want certain things put in different places or I want two pictures on one page instead of one and it becomes a bit troublesome to change all my text boxes too. So that is the first thing I do. I start with whatever picture I'm going to start with and I'm going to start with this one which is a family picture. I don't care for that with the frame around it and that big. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to choose a different um, layout for this picture. Not sure yet which one I'm going to like so I'll try a few. I know I just want one picture on there. Okay and again I'm not liking the frame around it so I'm assuming that that frame comes automatically with this particular um, background. So let's see if I'm right. Let's go in and change the background. I could be absolutely wrong. Let's just pick a different background. Um, eh, let's choose this one and see what happens. No, apparently I'm wrong. So I don't like the frame. Not sure why it's in there. I'm not sure if I like any of these other things themes let's try, or layouts. Let's try that layout and see what happens. Okay and you can see that that's made it now that the picture does not fit properly. Even though I don't care for this particular um, layout I'm going to show you how to change this if you need to if you're absolutely in love with the layout and you want to change it. I'm actually going to change the background. I don't care for that green. Okay, so I'm liking that, but there's a problem. It's cutting off this ancestor's head. And it's telling me too in this yellow triangle with the exclamation mark that this picture has low resolution. So I would need to resize this. And this is my little tip that took me quite a few, uh, making quite a few books before I discovered this and realized I could do it. You can go down here to customize the page. You click on that. Here you can move and resize items. You can you can move this, then you can start resizing it if that's what you wish to do. You can pull this up and there I've managed to get the whole picture in. Now his head is still a little close to the top. I could pull this up more if I wanted. But another trick that I want to show you is to double click. It brings the picture up like this and now you can move the frame around. Although I see I'm limited right now. Um, but I can move it left and right. And I can actually resize in here too. I could say, well, I'm going to chop a little bit of this off like so. And that's going to give me a little bit of extra room above his head. You can also add special effects. And the effect choices are original, black and white, sepia, sunshine, vibrant, vintage, and fade. I'm just leaving it at this. I like this. I'm going to click done. Pretty happy with that. That's not bad and I know that's how I want to start my book with this picture. So then I go continue 
which takes me back to the uh, original stage I was at where you are adding your pictures. So now you're going to, we're going to pretend I have this all figured out and in chronological order. I want two pictures on here, so I'm going to pull this one up. I've already put this one. Pull this one up until it uh, goes into the yellow, and it should come up beside. There we go. Then I go over here to layouts, and I it's already automatically on the two-picture layout, and I can look and say, because I don't care for this, I can look and say, which one do I think I'd like? Hmm. Let's try this one, see what it looks like. I want a bit of room for a text box. That's not bad. It has a little text box here. I probably myself would go in and now customize this and make this picture slightly smaller, move it in. Let's just see if there's a better layout. Oh, there's also this one, which will make both of them a little more equal size with a little bit of room for text there. I don't mind that. I would definitely customize it. I'm going to double click on this and see if I can move the frame. Yes, I can. It's the way this picture has been scanned. So I just play around with it until I have something that suits me. Let's see if that will work. <clears throat> I'm not getting them perfect because this is just a demo and I don't want to take 20 minutes to uh, to do that. I am going to move this one in though because I didn't like that little bit of white around it. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's move that a bit so I can play with it. Okay. And I probably actually would say whoops that I'm not liking this so I am probably going to go in and squish this a little more this is where it gets a little time consuming and tricky but if you get tired of playing around with it, you can always leave it and come back to it I just don't like the way that picture is I might even have to go and rescan it because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. There, I think I can live with that. Yes. And I would go in and resize so that these are the same size. And if I didn't feel like doing that, I would pick a different um, layout. Again, I can go in and play with those. And I'm just adding pictures. And remember, you can flip back and forth between your picture tray and your pages. Whoops. Put that there. Obviously not big enough. I stayed in the um, this custom editing for this because I knew that I was going to have to play with, uh, with this assessment record from 1841. Just click it once and pull again. And we just carry on like that, adding pictures. You, add, you can drag one there and oh, there's two. And I think I might put a third one on this page because I'm going to make those tombstone pictures smaller. And I just have to find the picture that I want to put there. Probably this one. I'm going to go here to the layout for three and I'm going to pick a different layout and that actually went the way I wanted it. I was going to show you how you can replace. You can drag an object over, whoops, but not in this editing field. If you're going to drag an object and change things you have to be in the original editing field. Now, if I wanted to, I could just switch them like so. Totally my choice. And I could say, oh, I really don't like this background. Let's get a different color background. Maybe this nice dark brown one might look good. Yeah, so-so. 
but you can see how you can change things just by clicking. And I don't like that there's no space between here. And actually, I trade these. And so that is basically how I add all my pictures. I make sure they're where I want them. I get all my pictures up in here. And um, then I'm ready to move on to adding my text. And we'll talk about that in the next video.